Hiya guys and welcome back to 2FC aka 2 Footballs Combined and it's week 9 of my Premier League predictions and it's finally back. I hate the international break. Absolutely hate it. Stop with the international breaks. Literally we only had one like 3 weeks ago. What's the fucking point? So yeah, last Premier League predictions. Oh, I did not do well at all. Not at all. I'll run through them and I'll get into week nine. So my first game was Brighton v Spurs. I went 2-1 Spurs. It finished 3-0 Brighton. Oof. Burnley Everton. I went 1-1. It finished 1-0 Burnley. Uh, Liverpool Leicester. I predicted 3-2 to Liverpool. It finished 2-1 to Liverpool. So that's a point. Uh, Norwich Villa I went for a 2 all draw and Villa demolished them 5-1 so I got no points for that only game I got correct was Watford versus Sheffield United I went with a 0-0 draw spot on uh, West Ham Palace I went for one all draw and thanks to VAR and Jordan I we won 2-1 go on the boys Arsenal, Bournemouth, I went 2-1 Bournemouth, it finished 1-0 Arsenal. Man City, Wolves, I went 4-2 Man City and it finished 2-0 to a Dharma Trioro. What? I know Wolves are good and there's no, I'm not mocking Wolves at all, they're a very, very good team. But to go to the Etihad and win 2-0 against the champions... Mental. Absolutely mental. Southampton, Chelsea. I predicted 3-1 Chelsea. And it was 3-1 at half time. Um, it finished 4-1, unfortunately for me. So that's a point. So I've got something. And then Newcastle, Man United. I went 1-1, thinking that Man U were going to still score a goal. Nope. Didn't score a goal. Lost 1-0. <laughs> no points. So I've got 4 out of 20. And 1 out of 10. And if you're new and you don't know what, um, why it's two different scores, I give myself two points for getting a score correct and one point for getting the result correct. So I mark that down as out of 20. And then if I get one spot on, I'll mark it down as 10. But it's just for my mental remembrance more than anything else. So let's get into week nine. Everton West Ham. I'm going to go with a 1 1 draw. That's the early kickoff on the Saturday. Villa Brighton. I'm going to go with a 2 all draw. Both have come off of big wins. I know the international break probably wasn't a great time for either team, but they've come off, both of them have come off really good wins. Villa with a 5 1 win. Brighton with a 3 0 win against Spurs, nonetheless. Just, But I think this might knock them down after the international break and all that shite. So 2 all for that. Bournemouth Norwich, you know what? I'm just going to predict Bournemouth to win 3 1 every week. Because if it doesn't finish 3 1, it finishes 2 all. And if I predict 2 all, it finishes 3 1. So I'm going to just start predicting 3 1 Bournemouth. <laughs> so that's what I'm going for. Chelsea Newcastle, 3 0 Chelsea Newcastle. Even though they beat United, I think that was more of a home advantage. I think Chelsea are going to dominate in this game. Leicester, Burnley, I'm going with 2-1 Leicester. Spurs, Watford, I'm going 2-0 Spurs. Wolves, Southampton, I reckon Southampton might get a goal. But Wolves will still win, I'm going 2-1 Wolves. Then it's a big one for Palace. At home to Man City. Uh, for prediction's sake, I think Man City will win. But for a Palace fan's sake, we've caused them a good few upsets over the few, last few years. I'm, uh, do I go for predictions? Because last time I went for a prediction of a Manchester team beating Palace, we won at Old Trafford. Oh. You know what? Fuck it. I'm screw it. I'm screw it. I'm changing it. I'm going with a two all draw. Two all draw. I did have two one city, but I'm going two all. 
Come on, Palace. Man United, Liverpool. <laughs> Liverpool 4-1. Man United suck. And if they don't get rid of Solskjaer, actually, it's not even Solskjaer's fault. The players just aren't playing for him, bless him. And the final game, Sheffield United, Arsenal. I'll go 2 0 way win for Arsenal. Why the hell not? Oh, oh, sorry about that. You definitely didn't want to see that, did you? So, yeah, those are my predictions. Um, let me know what your predictions or what you think of my predictions down in the comments. Please like, share and subscribe. I'm still aiming for 500 subs. So, if you can get me there, that'd be great. I'm only like 53 away, 54 away. So, new, new 50 people will be amazing. Thank you guys for watching, and come on you Palace. Peace.